Hey, what up everybody and welcome back to the long dark today We're gonna make our way back to muskeg um, We want to get the smelting done and we're gonna need to get to muskeg to do it Old Spence's farm is the destination But we're gonna encounter some weather and wildlife along the way just as the long dark does If you enjoy the episode, please drop a like it helps me out very very much and with the intro out of the way Let's get started It's cold. It's cold. It's so freaking cold. Alright, we're heading to... I think we're gonna head over to Muskeg and see what's in store. I'm gonna need to get some cattails while we're over there because uh, we don't have a ton of food on us. Grab some sticks. Oh, there's a wolf. Walking away. Keep walking away. I'm gonna break an ankle right here. And going to be really upset about it. Should that happen. Try to sneak under these trees here. Let's just not have him find us. It's cold as heck. Um, I should have made some teas probably. I don't think I even have the ingredients to make the teas. We only have the um, birch bark. From what I can tell. In the dial. I didn't see anything on the floor. It's been a couple days. Like maybe a week since I last played. So... I don't think I had any other teas. If I did, they would have been on the floor. Um, we're heading to Muskeg. It's cold today. We're already going to probably take take some cold damage uh, here early. And I'm hoping we don't come across any more wolves. That might be one in the distance. I should probably head down here and uh, make a quick detour over to the building down here because I don't remember if I have already pulled the rose hips. Uh, there's also a uh, stove. Um, that's the word for it. There's a stove here, so I can maybe heat up a tea or two. We can get a couple going and uh, help us get to Muskeg because uh, the ultimate plan is to get the smelting done today. Um... Or at least get it started and kind of get that going. I'm low on food, so if we can, I'd like to grab the cattails in muskeg as well. And then I'm hoping that there is a corpse or two near uh, the smithy thing, the furnace. Uh, because we're going to need more than probably cattails to survive. Uh, and that's it. If we didn't waste all of our resources kind of going back and forth to get the heavy hammer, uh, we'd be in a little bit of a better spot, but it is what it is. I'm hoping... Yeah, see, this is what I came down here for. There's some uh, mushrooms, and I want to see if there's some rose hips on the bush right over there, if that bush spawned in today. Um, and yeah, I want to grab this stuff, grab any mushrooms I can find, because teas are going to be our saving grace. Uh, on this trip. Yeah, I already grabbed these. I kind of thought so in the back of my mind. Let's go ahead and start this fire. All right, we're going to go. Um, I did make one tea and drink it. But uh, I was actually hoping to make a couple more, but I only had literally the two mushrooms. Oh, we could grab these, though. Let's, uh, let's grab these. It's so cold today that that fire didn't even warm us up. I had to drink the tea in order to get any warmth back. We may have to re-strategize briefly and just grab a couple teas uh, or grab some mushrooms and grab some rose hips from this area. Stop at Trappers and uh, and thoroughly warm up before we head to Muskeg. As much as I'm in a rush to kind of get there, uh, generally... Uh, do I have a rock? Oh, I just scared him. Generally... Uh, you're better off taking the extra little bit of time, in my opinion, than to rush it unprepared, because if my luck were to break, then it could be game over, so. There is the wolf right there. I'm going to grab these sticks quick. Uh, yeah, let's just throw that. But I wanted to get another torch going. 
And then let's continue to grab these sticks out here. And there's no... I've pretty much cleaned out Mystery Lake, I guess, huh? With the... Uh, with the rose hips and the mushrooms. Not seeing any. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, screw you. Actually, I think I'm over in the area. I forget who, but somebody in the comments mentioned... Uh, over, I think I'm near Unnamed Pond. And they mentioned I missed... Oh, that is not where I wanted it to be. Yeah, let's get closer. Get lost. Go. Cool. Um, they mentioned that I passed all the birch saplings. Uh, we might go try to get them. There might be some birch bark over that way, too. And, uh, let's see. Because we're, we're so close, we might as well just go check. Because if I could get those, um... If I can get those curing, then that would be ideal, for sure. And then we can always recover our condition, you know, use it as a resource, they say, right? Uh, we can always recover our condition while at Trappers before we head over uh, officially to the uh, Old Spence's farm. I don't see anything around here. I don't know where I overlooked the saplings. So I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for them. There's sticks everywhere, but I really would like to be collecting mushrooms right now. Oh, this is not Spence's. That's where we got the maples. Alright, I'm in the wrong area. Figures. Alright, maybe we can get lucky and find some uh, birch bark, though. That is not birch bark. Uh, this is a birch bark tree, I think. Maybe not. And let's just keep going. Head this way. And I'm going to make my way over to Trappers and hopefully... Uh, hopefully not encounter a bear on the way. I have to get used to the actual trees that drop the birch bark. I think it's like these skinnier ones. I don't know for for sure. But I really would like to get a handle on which ones do drop it and which ones don't. Here's Unnamed Pond. There's a wolf. I really don't want to be hanging out right... Oh, here they are. Cool. We'll grab these. And there's the bear. Is there a mushroom or two around here? No? Uh, maybe... They're right here. Let's grab them. I'm watching all my stuff. Let's eat real quick. I'm just diminishing our food. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm gonna grab pretty much all these. And then make our way over to Trappers. Yep. And this one too. Cool. Not too... I really don't want to have... Like, all my stuff scattered. But we're gonna have to do, like, a organizational... Uh, system later. Or, or kind of regather move our stuff from trappers over to the camp office uh there's a couple i don't know if i'm too close to this bear torch ain't gonna stop him i want to grab oh no pushing my luck i want to grab these and there goes Come on, get it. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Let's put this away. I am going to... Well, yeah, I'm gonna eat real quick. And then I am going to grab a flare. And we're gonna go. Essentially, I just need to kind of go straight this way. To get to the camp off. Or, to trappers. Keep going around. 
And what else? That stinks though because I was kind of hopeful that we could get to trappers and there'd be a couple rabbits about that we could hunt. We may be doing the starvation trick again and letting go well fed for the for the time being. Really not happy to be out here in this weather. We'll just follow the map though. If we hug the wall a bit, we should be all right. Oh, is that another maple? It is, okay. And how are we doing on stamina? Yeah, not, not quite. All right, we're gonna keep hugging the wall here, making our way up. And this should be leading us kind of towards uh, Trappers. Basically, I know Trappers is kind of up this hill. This isn't usually the way to go, but we keep going around the mountain and up, and it should lead us where we want to go. Can't see anything. Yeah, that's going to limit our sprinting now. Come on. Make it up the hill. And then this should be around where I think Trappers is probably down this way. Kind of like right over there. I bet you the barn's like down there. We keep going this way. And down and around. We should be fine. Really would like to see a birch bark or two. Help with our condition. Help with us staying warm. And I think I can put this flare away now. Yeah, we're here. Alright, well, we got the magical bed to help us. The thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep our food high enough while we stay here. We're definitely warm, though. Which is a good, good thing. Let's drop these and get them out of our inventory. Perfect. Those can start curing. That's already cured. That's already cured. Sweet. Those are cured too. Um, what to do? Oh, you know what? I know what we can do. All right, we're going to throw a couple bannocks on the stove and get those going. That'll give us a couple hundred calories to get through the evening. Uh, we might just want to cook as much of that as possible and just stay hydrated. Uh, I'll make some teas as well if I can uh, out of the couple of out of the couple mushrooms that I did find. Uh, but for the most part, we're going to probably survive off this for a little while. At least the next couple days. I always research this place and I know there's nothing here. I wish that I had not killed all of the maple syrup because the pancakes were, were awesome. They were really holding us together. Uh, let's add a couple more sticks and I can go get some more in the storm if I need to. Um, let's just pass this and let me eat one. And then let's make another. I probably should just make one of these rose hip pies and see what that does. 259 calories though, and these are 230. Just cook. Let's just do the bannock, bannock, whatever it's called. I think I'm just gonna call it bannock from this point on. And what do we got there? Anything? Very good. Go ahead and eat another one. I'm going to add a couple more sticks. And 11 minutes. Let's go. We're going to go outside real quick. And just grab a couple sticks if they're right around the building. Right over here is usually a couple. 
so I'm gonna try to grab them, make sure we're stocked up. If I can find them. Oh yeah, here's one. And there should be some more up here, if we're lucky. A couple. No, pick it up. Take it with us. Here's one too. Yeah, there's a couple. And I know there's a bunch that I passed on the way to Trappers. Uh, right up the hill. So we can always go, go grab those two. But for now, I'd like to take these with us. And uh, keep this fire topped off. At least till we're done cooking. Then I think we can sleep uh, or read out the storm. And then eventually start making our way to Spence's. Go. Nope, nothing. Okay. And we'll go back inside. And make sure these aren't burning. No, they're good. Oh, these almost burned. Let's uh, top off the fire. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, another level of cooking. Perfect. Right, that's done too. Let's cook another one. And I gotta check our water level. Those should be fine. We got an hour on that. Just take this water with us. And then I wanna check that cooking level real quick. Let's see what we got. You can make anything feel like a meal. You have perfect timing and you don't waste anything. 20% more calories from anything, any cooked food item. No calorie loss when smashing open cans. We reduce our cooking time by 20% and ready times increase by 20%. I don't know what that last line means. I'll have to look that up. I don't know if that means like I have longer to pull it off the stove once it's ready. Let's see here. We got 48 minutes here, six minutes and 16 minutes. So let's uh let's step outside again. Jeez. All right, let's uh let's run around the corner here. And then just check. If I'm lucky, there'll be a piece of birch, birch bark or two. Oh my god, we're already Oh yeah, we're we're healed. I thought that was saying I got hyperthermia already. Let's grab this and this. And then there might be some more over here. Nope. Nah, uh, no luck. Okay. I mean, it's fine. Uh, what's this? Okay. We're not at a good angle. Considering the, uh... The red little lines on the side of the screen. Uh, okay, there's another stick. And unfortunately, no birch bark. Which would help, because we don't have many options for teas. But, that's fine. What we're going to do now, head back inside. And I'm going to keep cooking more uh, bannock. And then I'm going to also prepare those mushrooms that I have. To make a couple teas to help us uh, tomorrow or whenever this weather breaks. We're only half tired, so I really don't want to go out too much. I mean, I don't want to sleep too much, but I hate traveling at night, too. Okay, that's... Okay, these are done. Let's go ahead and stock these up. Stoke the fire real quick. And let's make another one. How many do I have? Two. Okay, I've got eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do another one. And then I'm gonna cook some water. And then I think, if I remember correctly, I do, I got the water purification tablets. So we can do one of them. We can do like the water purification tablets on that. Is there any other cloth here? Uh, how long is this going to take? Six minutes? Yeah, we can do that. Cool. 
Got a piece of cloth there. And while these are going, 1414 in an hour, we are going to make a uh, bandage. To have a second one. Yeah, one cloth, two bandages. Let's do it. I believe I only need five cloth for the... I only need five cloth for the... What am I doing? The smelting. In order to make, like, the hatchet and uh, the knife. Let's cook that. And we'll do another one. And then let's eat. And then I'm going to go ahead and water purify. All right, we'll stock this back up. I'm gonna need to pull a couple more torches from there. And let's take that too. Uh, now, I think we want to use a couple more of these tablets. And I think there's one more, right? Yeah, there is. Okay, so, yeah, there's no more water to, to do. Okay, as far as water goes, we have 1.3 gallons. I carried the salt with me in case we can ever make the ptarmigan stew. Uh, as far as this goes, I do need to... Hmm. Add a little bit more fuel. And then I do need to make... Should have done this while I was waiting for the waters. I want to... Can I? I can make rose hips. I've got two mushrooms. And I've got just enough for both. So yeah, I mean, we'll have to make one. Yeah, I get, I'll have enough time to cook both these. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's cook the the reishi. And then while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the rose hips. 15 minutes, yep. All right, perfect. Oh, yeah, it's longer. 45 minutes now. Take that. And we'll wait on that. This is 4% wet. Just give it a little bit longer. Uh, and how are these now? 5%? Okay. That's good. These are cured. That's cured. How long does it take to make the rabbit stuff? If I wanted to make a rabbit hat. Just out of curiosity. Uh, we can make rabbit skin mittens. Four pelts, which I don't have. I've got the two gut and five hours, and that takes three pelts. So I need one more, one more pelt for a hat, and two more pelts for a uh, the mittens. Okay, let's put these back on. Very good. And then let us uh, let's make ourselves a couple more torches. Yeah, we'll put that away. Grab a couple more. And then I think I'm going to just end up kind of reading and sleeping here. The weather's no good. Can't go anywhere. Can't do much else. Uh, we just wait out the storm, essentially. It's about to be nighttime anyways. It's pretty much a, it is a heck of a slog to get back to Spence's. I feel much better on the food front, but like I can't walk in this anyways and then if it's dark, there's no sense in doing it exhausted it is still a far journey and I'm gonna want to be able to to grab cattails along the way, so I think the plan is, we're just gonna chill let me grab one of these before I forget it in the morning and uh we'll just chill, I'm gonna read and um 
read, nap, drink, eat this this bannock, and uh, and then hopefully I'll be back with you once the weather calms down or the next morning. All right, I got three hours of reading in. Uh, I am going to just turn this on. We're gonna step outside quick because it is filthy dark out. It is just so dark. See? Beautiful night sky. <laughs> um, let's, uh, it's very dark in there, though. There's a deer. I don't actually need this. We can uh, place it, maybe. Mm, can I place it? No. Okay, we'll put it away. I do want to grab uh, some sticks, if I can. I know I grab most of them from around here. Uh, we'll head over there, and but I'm just going to try to get some stuff going so we can get a fire going in the morning. Uh, because we're going to need to heat up our teas in order to uh, eventually venture out to Muskeg. Is that a wolf over there? It looks like something's walking. Or is that another deer? Or is it nothing? No, it is deer. I thought so. Well, I thought it was a wolf, but... Fudge. Come on, bro. I just healed the sprains. <sighs> Dude, it's it's so nasty. I hate it. I hate it. I'm going to have to get the crampons. I just, I can't. I can't stand it. Anything? Uh, I'm not seeing any uh, birch bark. There's one stick. There's another one behind me. And there's another one over here. Okay, cool. Got a couple. I just need a few minutes of fire, really. I don't particularly care if we find a whole ton of sticks. I just want enough to start a fire in the morning, heat up the teas that we have, the three, and then uh, and then uh, we can venture out to um, to Muskeg. Uh, I'm not seeing anything further down there. I don't want to venture too far. We're cold. Let's just go home, and then we'll basically get some sleep. Get as much sleep as we can, and then, you know, wait it out till the morning, and we can venture off to Muskeg. Now we're hyperthermic again. But that's fine. All the deer down there. I was kind of hoping uh, we'd get a rabbit spawn instead of the deer, and then I could have snagged one or two. We could have got a couple more pelts going uh, through the night since I don't really have much I can do to pass the time. And the passing the the actual passing the time portion is a time sink. Like or not a time sink, a calorie sink. I think there's a rabbit right there though. So we will be grabbing him. Hello little rabbit. You picked the wrong time to come out. Walk. Get closer. And no, don't run away. Come back. Yep, got him. Oh, I can't. I can't sprint. Pick him up. Sorry. And we'll drop that. Anything else? Grab that rock back. Sometimes there's more than one. That makes me happy. The long dark gods have blessed us. We're able to. Uh, Spend some time tonight getting another pelt going. And anything else? I just want to do one more check. Can I just... Is this going to kill me? Ten minutes? How much condition am I losing? Eh, quite a bit. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? I don't know. Uh, we're good. Let's go. Let's get the rabbit. Let's get inside. And uh, then we'll just top off all of our 
meters and uh, call it a night. Oh, there's a rabbit right in front of me. We'll come back. Hey, bugs, come here. There he is. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, no, there isn't. I'm just, I'm blind. Well, that's the wrong way. Come back. Listen, I can't sit out here. I need to go inside. Yeah, yeah, come back, come back. You're gonna jump down? Come around. Okay, cool, cool, come on. Yeah, hey, buddy. Yep, yep, yep. Let's go. Snag him. Alright, cool. Let's grab this other one. And then let's get inside. You know what? When I heat up the uh, rabbits tomorrow, or when I heat up the teas tomorrow, I think we can try to cook these rabbits. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're good there. And then let me pull this one closer. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, let's turn this off. Put it away. We're just micromanaging everything right now. Let's eat another one of these. I would like to grab these guts. But I just, I'm concerned about the calorie sink it would be. Let's eat one of these. The weather's kicked back up, of course. And then let's harvest and let's get that hide. I wonder if the meat would have been better. I didn't check with the hacksaw. I wonder if I could have gotten... Because I did it by hand. Hmm, I don't know. Well, that's fine. We got the pelt. Let's go ahead and drop those. And then let's, uh, no, I need that. Let's go to bed. Okay. Oh, perfect. Exactly what we needed. Actually, that might be helpful. So we've got cabin fever. Or the affliction risk, right? So we've been spending too much time inside. Let's look at that for a second. Ooh. So I need to spend time outdoors. But now we're going to go smelt. And where we smelt will be outdoors. So that should go away. And then while we're sitting here, let us go ahead and start a fire. But this morning, the plan is to cook the rabbit meat up. Or cook at least what we can. And then let's heat up these uh, torches. I mean, let's heat up these teas. And uh, just try to get prepared to go to um, Muskeg. Let's place this down. And then let's cook as much of this as we can. Uh, that's going to take 24 minutes. We should cook the longest ones first. Yeah, these two are 24. So let's cook that. Uh, what is this? Oh, no, I already picked it up. Perfect. So let's cook uh, this one. Ooh, yeah, 24 minutes. Perfect. Move these so they don't burn. And then I will try to put these outside. Just grab these two quick. I'll put them outside, but I think they're going to disappear. Any wolves? Nope. It's cold. It's fine. So it's cold. We're gonna just check all this stuff, make sure none of it burns. This got 15 minutes left. Uh, yep. Let's just make sure these are good. Yes, sir. Okay, cool. And I don't think we really need to wait here. There's nothing else I can think of. I think we just passed the time. We take it and let's cook that other one 
Yeah, one minute. These are good. 25 minutes. Take it. Uh, let's eat this one now. Let's take this too. And this and this. Since our condition's already low, let's just go ahead and drink this Birch Bark. Drink that. And then let's go ahead and grab that other rabbit meat. 540 calories. I mean, it's not going to hurt. And we'll take one torch. And we're on our way. We're, one last quick check for the heavy hammer. Can actually leave this here. And those are fine. Let's go. I would take those rabbits, but they uh, will smell, and I don't want to smell. Uh, I got to get a lot more comfortable with dealing with the wolves on Interloper before I start, like, carrying carcasses with me. Uh, but it's cold. We're going to want the teas, and essentially we're going to go pretty much the same path we did last time, but we're going to grab whatever cattails we find along the way. And we'll drink probably both those teas that we just made en route. And then from there, I'll try to make more teas when we're at Spence's. I believe there's a couple more places that I haven't checked for mushrooms and stuff. So we should be able to get some materials for it. And then uh, we can be a little bit better prepared coming home. But for now, we want to get the hatchet going, the knife going, uh, and a couple arrowheads so we can get back. Hopefully, our cabin fever risk will wear off as well, and we can clear that affliction. And then it, it'll be pretty much smooth sailing from there in order to make the gear we want to make. If not, uh, I think there is... I think there's a workbench... An outdoor workbench. I know there's one in Coastal Highway. I assume you just light a fire and then work next to it uh, outside. So we could always do that. Or we could make our way over to, like, the Mountaineering Hut if we wanted to. But the Mountaineering Hut, I, I don't want to carry all the stuff, like, up the mountain, I guess. Like, we wouldn't want to bring the all the um, saplings that it were cured. So better probably go to Coastal Highway and, and work it that way. Do I let this torch run out? Is, is that something I want to do right now? There's a deer. Um, I guess we could probably... I think I have a few. Yeah, I got six. So maybe we keep... We do one more before... And just make sure we're kind of cleared of the wolves. Uh, I just don't want to waste the matches relighting them if I don't need to. But I don't think all these torches are going to get us there. Not seeing anything else. Uh, not seeing any other wildlife. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what's that over there? Is that a bear? Could be. Looks big and black. Brown. Mm, rock, maybe? I don't know. All right. Uh, birch bark, where are you? I think that's a birch bark tree. It's like the whiter trees. Uh, and it's skinnier. I think that's one of the ones that drops. I know I've collected birch bark over here, so likely the case. And I don't see any other ones. Okay. I heard a wolf in the distance. Don't. Uh, he sounded up this way, but far. So maybe over that mountain. Let's see what's in store for us over here. I don't remember if I got all the rose hips over this way, too. So hopefully there's a couple I can grab. And then if we do decide to do like a true stock up on. Um, our teas, the uh, opposite side where the uh, dam is, and back that way to there's like a hunting blind that's back there. They'll have a bunch of stuff that I haven't gathered yet. That whole place should be pretty well 
stocked. All right, so we're here. I think we might want to top off another T while they're still cold. Never mind. I was hoping that they would be warm and uh, we could grab another one. Maybe I should start a fire quick and warm up, warm them back up while this torch is good. I could also use uh, the sticks that are around here. Yeah, we're going to get cold pretty quick. And our condition isn't at 100%. So, is there any good sticks over this way? Uh, I'm just trying to check around. Anything up here we could use for fuel? Uh, maybe? Come on, give me something. All the storms we've had lately, and there's nothing over here? I mean, I know I wasn't in this region when they happened, but... Should still there's a couple let's go ahead and do this we'll light it back up and then let's start a fire quick maybe behind this tree 75 percent come on weather hold out i hear you picking up a little bit don't do it All right, that was successful. Put this away. Uh, let's go ahead and add some fuel. We'll add three. Let's drop these T's. Place it right there. And we'll put that there. And let's grab a couple more sticks while we're over here. Come on, there's more up here. Right. Anything else? I don't want to go over the hill. I'm so scared of the hills on Interloper. And I don't want to go too far from this uh, campfire. Okay, these are pretty much done. Uh, let's just go ahead and drink it. And then I might just drink both of them. Let's take a torch. That wasn't a very good torch. Let's add a couple more sticks and take a couple more torches. Musk egg is cold. Let's go. All right. We're good. We're going to keep going. Uh, hmm. I wanted to grab the cattails. Let's look kind of what's off this way in that direction because we want to make our way across. But in order to get the cattails, I got to cross the lake. We're going to just uh, shave off a little bit more hydration and then we're going to drink that other tea. Uh, that's a, a limb. I thought there was a wolf over there. I see them everywhere. I know I'm constantly like, that looks like a wolf. Is that a wolf? Is that a bear? It's like when you're walking, it just everything, uh, move, everything kind of looks like it's moving when you're walking. <laughs> and then on top of that, it might have teeth and, uh, I don't like it. So, uh, let's see. I kind of want to go this way and then make our way across. And then I think that's where we're headed right straight back that way. Uh, the hydration's dipping. So, I'm gonna probably drink this tea here in a second. Oh, there's... Is that a carcass? I don't see the cattails that I thought I would see. Let's drink this. Cool. Yep, there is a carcass. Any cattails around? No. Um... Just keep careful. Keep watch or, or eye out. It's a big lake here. And then there was a log up ahead. I don't know if that'll have any any um reishis for us. Uh let's go to this one. Yep. And then over here. Okay. 
Uh, there's some cattails. Nothing there. Grab these. And I'm going to take the heads too because uh, we need tinder plugs. I think we're down to like one. Grab that and this one here. All right, we are still super cold. Uh, let's reset this. Okay, restore conditions over. That's fine. I forgot that was even going. The wind sounds a bit like it's going to be picking up. So I'm just... I don't really want to be caught out here in a blizzard. I don't know this place like I know Mystery Lake, where... Like, we got that blizzard yesterday, but I was able to just get us back to Trappers. Because I know that map really well. Muskeg I know fairly well, but it's so easy and it's so wide open that if we encounter a blizzard here, there's a good chance that I find myself in a situation where I start heading the wrong direction. I'm going to grab this, and then I think we can start leaving the heads. Stalk and leave the head. And we'll grab this stalk and leave the head. Oh, need that. All right. Oh, rose hips. Okay, yeah, let's grab these. Yep, take that. And then I should be able to, weight-wise, run across this lake here. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to make that. Uh, I'm pretty limber. Sprint. We're going. Nope, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I made it. Ooh, I just had a flashback. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Um, okay, we can do this one too. Yeah, that one's easy. Cool. Grab this. Let's grab this other rose hip. There's a bunch of these here. Uh, if we start another fire, we can make some teas now, which is a solid option. Let's go here and grab these. Cool. We're going to just basically maneuver our way and zigzag through and just kind of take care of business here. Oh, I, uh, no, I did take that. I got to leave the other one. i um, hoping, I don't know if we'll get the smelting done today as this is already taken kind of longer than I thought it would, but, uh, we're right on cue to get it going in the next couple episodes. Let's reset this. Almost, almost missed it. Okay, let's venture this way. I don't want to sprint too much. It is snowing, which is going to make us cold. Uh, the snow leads to um, our clothes being wet, which will lead us to get cold faster. And then I want to get where we need to go to because uh, it's the weather could get worse. We'll check this blind. I haven't been here actually, so there might be something useful here uh, if we can get up the hill. Uh, anything? Another field dressing book? Oh, candy bar, that's useful. And some lantern fuel, that's good. And then, oh my god, a hacksaw, okay. Cool. That's good. That's good. Um, let's see. Can we go around here? Yeah, I think we can go across. Do I grab these? Uh, I'm just so concerned about the bl a blizzard with how snowy it is. Okay. I think... I think we can make it this way. Yeah. I'm going to probably start leaving cattails. 30. Yeah, our food's good right now. I'm going to leave. There's our warming up. I'm going to leave these cattails here. And I'm going to start heading straight kind of there. And uh, we can always venture out from Spence's, which is right down that way. So we just keep kind of going across here. We should be fine. I'm going to go over here where it's a little bit safer, shorter distance. And we got hyperthermia risk. That's fine. 
Okay, I, gotta, I gotta have to reset this torch now. And the wind's picking up. I can't blow a fire. Oh, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. Okay. Of course. Um, I think what we're going to do is just bite the bullet here. Yep. And use one of these. They don't blow out. Oh, I never picked up my other rocks. Come on. Get lost. Yep. Right through me. I was here last time. There's another rock. Let's go ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dude, get lost. Thank you. And let's go this way. All right. Can we do it again? Go. I'm going to eat. I'm sitting out here in the cold. I don't like it. The question is, where can I cross here? Because that's all lake. So I have to go over this way. All right, this wolf's back. We got plenty of flare, though. What are you doing? You're just standing there? Watching me? Hmm, okay. That's interesting. Looks like there's a uh, sapling down the way. Oh, he saw me in it finally? Yeah, he did. Okay. Let's drop this again. Oh, don't throw it. Yep. Get out of here. Yep. And perfect. He went that way. Cool. All right. We're going to just basically sprint our way over here. There's a ton of cattails over here. So if we need to come out here in the next uh, day or so, there's plenty of stuff to grab. But I got 30 cattails. I got a couple pieces of bread. Um, we got that candy bar. And uh, I don't know if I left any food here. I doubt it. But if there is any food, there's probably some dog food. Unless that doesn't spawn on Interloper. In uh, one of the crates. And then even more, I think there's a deer carcass uh, in the area. Usually down by those broken buildings down there. So, we, we should be fine on food. Now we're just going to head inside and uh, we should be warm uh, while we're in here. Probably going to start smelting like through the evening and just knock all that stuff out. Because we're going to need the fire to keep warm overnight anyways. So... Cool. It's great to be back here. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. Uh, I can't wait to get smelting and finally have this leg of the journey done. Um, it's just, to me, uh, this is a, like, we're entering an area of the game that I've never been. So, very exciting to, to, to begin there and start that. Let's see here. Okay. Yeah, we got a couple things of water. I've got some purification tablets. That's great. And uh, we got all of our... We got a bunch of scrap here. Should be plenty. Uh, I hope it's enough. And uh, I got plenty of coal. I got some wood on us. So we'll get this fire started. And um, yeah. Let's get to it. Let's uh, grab this book. Yeah, let's start a fire. We use a flare. And where's practical gunsmithing? Yes, there you go. And no, 95%. Let's go ahead and start the fire. Alright, cool. Let's get this going. 
if I add some wood, like if I add this firewood, oh yeah, that jumped up a bit, and then let's add these sticks. Maybe it's like the two and a half hour mark, and then let's see what the output is there. Okay, this is gone. See ya. And just go ahead and harvest this. Oh, I was about to say, is it really that cold? We're not warming up a little bit? I gotta watch our food. Cool. And, uh, let's eat. How are we doing? Oh, 79? Yeah, let's eat the Banak first. Just do two. Yep, I know. Add fuel. Where are we at here? Heat output, 29 degrees. Is this doing anything to that? 30. 31. And if I throw that in there, what does it need to be at? 270. Oh, we're not even close. Let's harvest this. I probably should be cooking. Pick that up. Place. Did I leave the freaking things? Or can you not use them? Like, which is it? No, I'm actually an idiot. <laughs> All right, well. I'm really glad that we didn't rely on the, the freaking bannock that I thought I was going to do. Oh, my God. I can't believe I freaking left it again. And I said it, too. Like, I'm going to pick these up now because I'm going to forget them. And then we cook the rabbits and I leave them anyways. I don't know if this is enough coal. Come on. One forty two. Two degrees. The stick does two degrees? No, they're not even doing anything past 144. This ain't looking good. Is that going to be at 270? Yeah. Jesus. Dude, I don't have enough. I hope it doesn't lose temperature. Like, I hope it's at 10 hours, and then, like, 270 at 10 hours. 288. No, I don't want to break anything down. I want to forge. Uh, hatchet first, maybe? Four hours? Do I have food for four hours? We do now. Okay, it's still at 288. All right, we're good. Let's do it. Um, I kind of want to make arrowheads first, just because I have the hat. I have the hacksaw. Let's craft two arrowheads. Great. Oh, no, leave that there. Okay, it remains on there. Okay, cool. Let's do another two arrowheads. Oh, I just missed it. I don't even care. Uh, let's get the hatchet going.
Awesome. Okay, and that's still 288. We've got plenty of water. And by plenty, I mean we have some. Let's go ahead and cook more water. And then let's, uh, three hours. That ain't gonna work. Just put that there for now. And let's go ahead and begin crafting this food. Let's get the food. Eat this. And it's still 288. We're golden. Okay, cool. Let's eat um, some of these cattails. And how long is this gonna take for food? It doesn't tell me the calories. I'm gonna eat like to 25, I think. Okay, and then let's go ahead and make this uh, knife, right? Because I made the hatchet. I don't want to do the two of these. Okay, I made the hatchet. So let's go ahead and make the knife. We're going to get tired. That's fine. Oh, sick. So we got the, the knife now, and the rest of the time we can just go ahead and make these uh, arrowheads. Sweet. Oh, man, I'm so excited. Uh, let's drink a little bit more. Let's go ahead and make them. It's okay that we're tired. We'll recover some condition. How are we doing on... Oh, we got three hours left. That's fine. Um, How many arrowheads do I have? Three scrap. But how many arrowheads? Six arrowheads? Let's do as many as we can. We got 30 minutes until boiled. You know what? I'm just going to take it and do another one. Because I have the purification tablets. And we'll do another set of arrowheads. I see our condition going down. That's okay. And we'll take that too and do another one. And I want to do another set of arrowheads. Two hours and 27 minutes. We'll take that. And can I do one more? Yeah, I've got one more scrap. Do we need it? I got 10 arrowheads. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'd rather have them than not. Awesome. We did it. We did it. We got two hours left on this thing. Uh, is there anything else I want to do? I think we're going to drop some stuff. Let's drop this. Let's drop this. We are actually going to put this up here so we have it from now on if we ever want to come back here we got one here uh what i need to do is just keep this on me because i'm gonna forget it i don't see any reason why i'd want to keep that here um uh, we got 27 minutes until boiled i do want to break like this down yeah uh one second Good there. Okay, we got an hour there. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, we're gonna light a torch quick. I don't know if this will hold, but we'll light it nonetheless. And we're gonna go look for some wood real quick. Keep this uh, furnace going all night. Or attempt to. Because if I can get any sticks... Uh, they could help us keep the fire going. I got 30 minutes on that, um, 30 minutes, uh, left 
Uh, we got 30 minutes left on the water. And I'm not seeing any... Oh, no, that's not good. I want to be out here with no light. All right, let's just see real quick. Nothing. Okay. I'm not seeing any sticks. And the further I'm out here, uh, the worse it is. Uh, how much sleep should I get? That's kind of the question. Oh, you know what? I know what I can do. Let's go back. The problem is I'm tired. So... Being tired is no good. Uh, we are now tired and cold. We're going to lose condition. The main objectives at this point... I need to get some firewood. And I need to keep this fire going. So we can sleep a little bit. And then I want to make some teas. Let's heat back up. Uh, that's almost done. And let's take it. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and... Can we finish that up? Yeah. Let's cook that. Alright, perfect. That's going to heat up. Might as well do it rather than wasting the, the stuff there. Uh, this has how long? An hour and 34. What we could do is take this opportunity to drink some water. Eat some cattails. And then maybe break down this crate with the hatchet, since now we have one. That will help us to... Yeah, this will take 39 minutes. That's going to give us four pieces, and it's only 162 calories. I know we're tired. Oh, this had some lighter accelerant in it. Cool. But we can use that to keep this fire going. The main benefit... Oh, I have two pieces of coal still, too. Okay, cool. We're, we're actually pretty good. Yeah, that's going to give us two hours. Just put all that in there. And then, yeah, four. And how are we doing here? Let's take it. Can I cook any more? Yep. Let's go ahead and cook it. And how about under here? Anything? Can we get down? Thank you. Uh, we're good on the food. 251. 39 minutes. Yeah, let's go ahead and get it. I'm watching this condition closely. Dog food. Sweet. It's not much, but it's something. And it'll help us eat. And then we could try to get some actual sleep. I don't know if I can heat it up. I can never remember. I'd like to get like six hours though. Okay, let's take that. Now, the dog food. Can we cook it? No. Okay, you can't heat up, heat up the dog food. That's fine. Um, I'm going to leave this here. We are going to eat a cattail real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and eat the dog food. Ooh, 45. Do I have antibiotics if I need it? If I killed this run because I freaking got food poisoning, I'd be very upset. I have dry mouth already. Let's see here. Yeah, it's antibiotics I would need. So we can actually, let's roll the dice on this for 500 calories. Well, that gives some hydration too. Okay. And then maybe eat a couple cattails. I kind of want to save that other dog food for an emergency. That's good. How much time we have on it? 
Six hours? Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to get a full day's sleep. We're going to end up uh, screwing up our sleep cycle. But with the food where it is and the warmth where it is, six hours, maybe seven, eight hours, probably put us in the evening. Let's roll the dice on seven hours and get our, some of our sleep back. And then that fire is not going to be out because it's an outdoor fire. So it will, we'll be fine. Yeah, we've, we got half of our, our tired meter back and we got a little bit of fire left. Drink this water. And I think that's going to do it. Uh, today we managed to accomplish everything that we had set out to do three episodes back. It's been a heck of a, of a, a journey to get to this point. Um, but I'm looking forward to the next kind of steps in in our survival uh, out here in, in the cold. We've got 30 minutes left on this fire. Uh, what I'm going to kind of do now, I'm going to get a little bit organized and we're going to aim to head back to Mystery Lake uh, with, you know, the intent of not coming back here for quite a while. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop a like. It helps me out very, very much. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.